Hi guys, hope you're all well. Um, today I'm just doing a part two to the um, power shell that I made the other day. I just thought I'd make a nice set with the pieces that are left over. Um, these were the bits I'd left over from the block because of course I didn't use a lot, did I? I just um, made this pendant with a, an insert in it. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to make some circle, a circle pendant using my mould, then it's quite structured and I'm going to make some circular earrings and um, a little um, circular gem for on a bracelet. So I'm going to be using just a, a wire chalker, a silver wire chalker um some little ear wire hooks uh, where I'll just dangle um, the uh, the circle off it and I've made a little wire bracelet it's a dead simple idea it's a uh, Susie Wong tutorial uh, I'll leave a link to the tutorial for this bracelet um, in the description if you want to go and have a go and I just thought we'd add um, a little circular stone to this little wire bangle uh, so I'll go and I'm going to use a bit of black for backing the uh, the pendant uh, and maybe the stone for the bracelet um, but uh, I'll do the earrings reasonably thin so I'll go and condition a bit of black clay for my back in and I'll go and stretch these out on uh, I'll probably do it on a on a number two I think and then I'll do my back in on a number two as well so I'll go and sort these bits out get them warmed back up and I'll see you in a sec Hi guys okay so I've oh I'm out out of view again good at doing that aren't I right I've done these on a two uh, and I think what I might do is um, cut some circles out and build it up in my mould to save having to put black on the back um, so I just need to cut couple of circles out with this cutter for my earrings and my pendant and then I'll build this so I don't what I don't want to do in this mold is overstretch the clay and kind of spoil the pattern if that makes sense uh, so I'm just going to um, think let's have a see that cutter is about right for that mold I'll see what I feel in a sec. Let's just give it a, a burnish uh, to get that surface nice and smooth. If I can find my little thing, I'll just get this surface uh, smooth and then take it from there. Okay, let's uh, cut a circle and pop it in the mould. I'll do two. In fact, I'll do. I'm just going to burnish this piece as well, guys. Bear with me a second. It'll all make sense in a sec what I'm doing. It's just I know that if I push the clay into that mould, it'll distort my pattern and I really don't want to do that. So I'm going to build up a few circles. <coughs> but I just need my bottom surface to be nice and smooth before I start. All right. Hi guys, I don't know what I did, I must have caught the recording button 
so there's a bit of video missing but all I did was um, cut earrings and pendant out with a small circle cutter back to the pendant on some black uh, that was t on a two setting and then with the scraps I just made this and these little cubes uh, you're going to see what I've made in the next step I'm really sorry guys uh, my phone is just so sensitive I don't know what I did but you didn't really miss much it's the putting together of the jewellery that I wanted you to see sorry about that hi guys we're all baked um, I'm not going to finish these, this piece and the cubes uh, today um, I'm just going to put them in my little tub for future use so here's our pendant and it is quite chunky but again I've said it before I'll say it again I wanted it quite substantial uh, a bit of a statement piece uh, I'm just going to finish the surface of these with my nail files I think this this one that's been in the mould um, I prefer this side of it uh, and it needs a bit of sanding a bit more thorough sanding so I'm just going to finish these ones as I do quickly with my nail files you can skip this bit guys if you don't want to watch um, I've already done a bit on this one I'm just going over with the buffer uh, you know I've got a, a video showing you how I do this just with these nail files um, and I'm just uh, using the grey one that come in the kit that I shared with you guys and you get very little dust with these as well because it's just because they've been burnished so well uh, you don't really uh, need a massive amount of finishing on them um, and I know I keep saying it but if you just burnish your pieces before they go in it makes such a difference to your finishing time and your finish especially if you're using a veneer because you don't want to sand all that I know I haven't used a veneer have I but you don't want to sand all that away ruin all your hard work um, and I must admit since I've got the Dremel I'm, I'm doing a lot more sanding and polishing uh, than I used to do plus I think Cernit um, you just, I just always get a good finish when I use CERN it. Uh, so that's probably helped as well. I've barely used any finishing on anything lately. And I will buff these with my Dremel just to get that shine going on the mica. But I just wanted, I hadn't filmed it for a while, have I? me finishing with the files so I just thought I would share it in case some people out there aren't aware and of course uh, you can go and watch the video uh, where I do different standing on different pieces but these really do not didn't need uh, a great deal of finishing on them and it's squeaking already so there's my earrings and this is the piece that we've got for um, to sit in the center of the uh, bracelet and I backed it on black just to make it a little bit thicker To be fair, I think this might need a little bit more sanding. I'll leave that piece there, guys. I'll go and give these a sand, uh, a better sand, and I'll give them all a buff. And then we'll come back and put the holes in and everything. So I'll just see you in a minute. 
Hi guys, these are all polished now. Lovely gloss on that one. Um, and I just used my sanding pads, the fine and the super fine and the micro, and then used my Dremel. So you can't, it's weird because you, it just doesn't show the shimmer of the mica up. A photo catches it better. And there's the bead for the bracelet. And I might as well just bring the earrings up and show you them. Uh, and they look really pretty. Um, so I'm just going to drill holes um, for the earrings first. And I've just got my finest drill bit. And just let me get a porky tool wherever I've popped it. Just need to decide which way up I want them. I think I'll go for that. And I'm just going to drill a hole about there for this one. And similarly about there for this one. And I'm just using a poke tool guys and my drill bit doesn't slip just helps sometimes to do that that's gone through nicely and I think this is okay hole wise uh, for this wire but I'll check that in a minute let me just do this one quieter. It makes a bit of a din that ratchet thing, doesn't it? There we go. Oh, sorry guys, I'm trying not to make a bangy noise on my glass. I've no there, yeah, that'll fit. Right, so let's get the earrings on. And these are really simple guys. I've just got them from AliExpress, but you could make them your own with some um, maybe 0.6 or 0.8 wire um, and then just tap them lightly with your jeweler's hammer to harden them um, make sure I'm putting it on the right way if it's going to go that way I need to put it through the back And I, I, I have said it before guys, but just in case we've got some new viewers, I really like doing this because you could make matching earrings um, with squares or circles or whatever shape you want and just have one pair of ear wires and you can just slide um, your matching earrings on and off to change, um, you know, to suit what pendant you're wearing and I just think they look quite uh, simplistic. I did toy with the idea of putting some little grommets in but I think they were, would have been a bit big for that and I haven't got any smaller ones. Just to finish it off around the hole a little bit you know it just adds that uh, certain something doesn't it. I might start uh, using them on some bits that I might make for my Etsy shop uh, just to give that them finishing touches to things so there's oh get down there's the earrings just some simple hoops I'll just pop them down a sec now uh, I'll do the bracelet last guys because I need to drill a hole all the way through this and pass some wire through um, to bind it onto this um, I just really I'm just going to really simply bind it to the front like that but I'll do that in a sec um, with this um, of course it's going to be hanging on my choker so let's um, Let's mark some holes first and decide which way up we want it. I think I'll go through there and I'm just going to pop 
copper hole on that side with my pokey tool and then I am going to come around this side and do another one um, just for something to aim for because as you can see um, this drill bit probably won't fit all the way through so I'm going to have to go in from both sides And of course guys you can fast forward this bit if you don't want to watch me drilling um, and i'll just know some people like to be able to see what you're doing don't they and how you've done something right let's go in from the other side now and see if we can meet that hole It's actually a bit off centre. Let me just do another little pinhole there. There we go. Hopefully, we're going in the same direction and this will meet in the middle. But the bigger drill bit tends to catch it if it isn't. There we go. And then I'll just go in with this next size up. Um, start with this one I think oh, that doesn't seem to be turning oh it is now how much length I've got on this let's just pull it out a bit see if we can't uh... oh it's got it really tight there we go I've loosened it <coughs> just putting a I like to keep my points pretty uh, keep this bit short guys but with this larger pendant I've just lengthened it a bit in the hopes that I'm going to get through uh, I'll go back through this side I think I think it's meeting but I can't really tell oh definitely something going on there because it's just sliding let me get a pin and see if we've got through I did think about trapping some wire didn't I maybe that would have been a better idea than faffing with this
nope it's definitely not gone through bear with me guys I'll uh, rather than mess around with it with you guys I'll just go and make sure that it's drilled through properly because um, I don't want to mess it up uh, I'll see you in a sec hi guys I'm back here that was a battle but I managed it it's fine um, I just uh, oh sorry I didn't want to bust what am I doing I didn't want to bust um, the sides so I wanted to be really careful right I've got a silver wire choker here um, I've just there's a little screw crimp end on it I've just popped it off um, again you've seen me do it a few times now I think guys and I'm just gonna push my pendant onto the wire and then I pop my little crimp end back on in fact let me just make that a little bit rounder yeah if you're really gentle um, you can just get the pocket to go back round um, or actually you can pop them off and uh, put your own findings on if you're not keen on these screw type ones and then you just recrimp it with your crimping pliers or pliers and that's sturdy and good to go so there's our pendant let me just fasten that back up nice pendant nice earrings and I've already after that palaver with that one guys I've already um, popped my wire drilled a hole and popped my wire through this is 6 mil silver coated copper and this was 1 mil um, silver coated copper um, and that's the 6 mil binder for it and all I'm going to do with, with this is really simply is just find the center and what I'm going to do is pop the wires down through the center to anchor them like so and then I'm just going to wrap wire wrap around these two to match the other ends uh, this six mil is quite stiff oh once it gets uh, a bit work hardened so you might um, just need your pliers to help you pull it taut sorry guys I keep forgetting that you need to see what I'm doing <laughs> there we go and I'm going to finish that around the front then there isn't a sharp edge pliers uh, calf oh there they are then there isn't a sharp edge at the back um, you could always use your burr tool on the end of the uh, wire but I'm just going to do that and then I'll just give it a little squash so that's one side and then I'm just going to pull that tight again and once you've got a couple of wraps on it it does stay quite sturdy just make sure that's pushed right up and that should stop our bead spinning around the bangle as well how many did I do on there one two three six one two three four five six and I'll just finish at the front again just to make sure that there's no sharp bits against the skin which to be fair if you've got decent snips um, it, 
you very rarely have a horrible bit on the end if you've got a decent cut just push them up and give them a squish and there we go just a really simple uh, I don't know what the word is for these are they called talk bandle, bangles when they're um, like this so I'll just pop it on and show you guys just a really simple bangle uh, with a really simple fastener um, you could put a safety chain on there if you were worried about it coming undone but once it's because it's springy um, it's pretty cool again I'll leave the link for the tutorial to how to make the bangle um, it's a Susie Wong one so there we go guys just a nice little set there nice and matching uh, I'll take some nice photos for you and I'll uh, see you all in the next video bye guys